America! Welcome to SAS Special Report, and I do mean America, because ladies and gentlemen, this video is going nationwide, just like the subject of today's special report. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here at Taco Bell for the nationwide release of the brand new Waffle Taco. And ladies and gentlemen, this has been a long time in the making. I've got a Taco Bell employee wandering around putting signs out looking at me kind of oddly right now. But I am so glad to be here at Taco Bell right now to try out the new items. I got for you the waffle taco, and I also got for you the uh, breakfast burrito with bacon, as well as their coffee. And we're going to see what those things look like and talk a little bit more about them right after this. All right, I'm back with a special report. It is Thursday, March 27, 2014, and I am at the Taco Bell on Van Dorn Street in the Van Dorn Street Plaza. You see busy Van Dorn Street flying by in the distance there. What do you see? A sign for Taco Bell's breakfast. Now, not exactly a huge turnout for the breakfast this morning. Uh, there was only one other fellow on the inside there getting his breakfast as I was and uh, a couple of workers, that's about it. I didn't see anybody else come in or out since I've been here, and uh, that's kind of disappointing. I was hoping it would be a sort of festive attitude or atmosphere uh, for this big, momentous event. I guess maybe everybody in the world isn't obsessed with uh, awful uh, junk food like I am, but uh, hey, what do you know? So back over here, like I said, we're in Van Dorn Plaza, uh, home of Safeway and CVS Pharmacy. Very, very exciting. But what is exciting are the new items by Taco Bell for breakfast. Here we go. First of all, if you smell waffles, it's morning. A really good morning. We've got this little uh, hot dog container looking deal going on here. And within this is the brand new sliding around waffle taco this is the thing that everybody's been waiting for all this time i know i have uh what you have there is a uh, waffle bent into a sort of a scoop shape so that it holds a piece of sausage and within that piece of sausage is some scrambled eggs and cheese and they also give you i'll let you slide away some syrup to go with that. So you can make it, you know, kind of like the McDonald's um, McGriddle, you know, in terms of getting that syrupy pancake waffle taste with your sausage and eggs. Uh, but this thing is truly ingenious in my opinion. Uh, why didn't somebody think of this sooner? When I first saw it on all the uh, food websites a few years ago, I think it might have been, you know, a year and a half, two years ago that I first saw this invention uh, for test markets. Uh, I was absolutely astounded and I said I have to have this and I am finally having the waffle taco today. Holy crap, I'm so excited. All right, so I also got a breakfast burrito. Now, a breakfast burrito is one of my favorite breakfast items, particularly at uh, real Mexican restaurants or even like your casual, fast casual joints like Qdoba. They have an awesome breakfast burrito. Uh, or nice cafes often have a good breakfast burrito. This one I got is the bacon breakfast burrito, which is just basically scrambled eggs, bacon and cheese inside a flour tortilla. $1.69 for the burrito, $1.99 for the waffle taco. Let's find out if these things are worth the wait. I'll be right back to try them out and tell you more about them. All right, I'm back. That stuff looks awesome. Uh, I'm going to start, first of all, with the breakfast burrito. Uh, just a very plain-looking burrito. Nothing very special about the outside. Can't really say too much about that. Uh, decent size for $1.69, though. Uh, I usually find a good breakfast burrito will run you anywhere between about 3 to $5 in a decent joint. Uh, McDonald's has their own sloppy, nasty ones for a buck, and then they have their slightly better ones that are... A little more expensive that have all those vegetables and stuff in them. I don't quite expect all of that in this, but I do expect a good bacon, egg, and cheese flavor. And let's find out if that's what this gives. Hmm. Hmm. I'm actually surprised 
by the quality of the bacon because I've had ta uh, Taco Bell products with bacon before mm. and not been that impressed. This is a good smoky bacon flavor. The bacon has a little bit of texture to it. It's crumbles though. It's not like there's full strips in there or anything like that. But it does provide a really good flavor. I actually do like the eggs as well. And the odd reason is, is because it doesn't have that real eggy flavor. I don't like that real eggy flavor. Um, the breakfast burrito is really good. I would recommend it for $1.69. That's a darn good deal. Probably going to try it with sausage eventually as well. Uh, but yeah, I can't say that's anything less than like a 7 eighths of a thumbs up. Um, you know, maybe a little bit more cheese on here or something or some kind of sauce would make it perfect. But yeah. That's a good breakfast burrito for the price. I like that a lot. Seven eighths thumbs up. Excellent. Sorry for the lighting, by the way. I don't normally do my reviews this early in the morning, so eh, what, what can I do? All right, let me cleanse the palate with a little bit of their coffee. Which, of course, I got some on my shirt right before a doctor's appointment, but no big deal. And why are you eating Taco Bell before you go to a doctor's appointment, you ask? Because I can. All right, so let's try out the main event of today's review, ladies and gentlemen, the Waffle Taco. There's not much more I can say about this other than I've never been so excited for a food item in my entire life. I'm about to try it. The cheese looks excellently melted. Uh, the taco shell or waffle, when you pick it up, reminds me of one of the old Downy Flake waffles. I don't think they sell those anymore, but they were a little bit of a class below your Eggo waffles. But in order to create the curve needed to hold this sort of thing. I think they needed a little bit of a softer waffle, and that's what you got here. It's nice and crunchy on the outside, so I think it'll be pretty good. Let me give it a shot. Okay. I like it, but I didn't try it with the pancake syrup yet. Let me drizzle a little bit of that on there. It's thick, I guess because it's kind of cold. Whew. All right, give it a shot with this syrup and see if it's the perfection that I expected. Mmm. <laughs> Wow. Yep. That's it right there, baby. Without the syrup, this thing is maybe a three-quarter thumbs up. It's a tasty uh, little sandwich or taco. I don't like when people call taco a sandwich, but I guess, I don't know. I guess this is not an official taco, but maybe it is. Anyway, um, without the syrup, it's pretty good, uh, but a little too on the savory side, even with the little bit of waffle flavor going on. And it does taste like one of those downy flake waffles uh, from back in the day. Uh, but as soon as the addition of the syrup happens, that's when the whole landscape changes, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -mm -mm. Thumbs up for the sausage waffle taco. They also have one in bacon. Uh, the sausage is a nice springy uh, sausage with a good sagey flavor. A uh, little bit of spice on the back end not a, a real fennelly sausage so you don't get that licorice action go action going on and again the eggs are pretty good nice fluffy piece of egg there not slimy or anything like that i don't know if they're using beaters or real eggs i'm not real sure i haven't done my research on that yet but uh damn yeah this is pretty good pretty damn dangerous for two bucks i think i'll be uh swallowing these quite often uh at work because uh, I get to work in the morning at 10 a.m. and we have a Taco Bell right next door, not this one, but there is a Taco Bell right next door. And uh, the breakfast at Taco Bell runs till 11 a.m., unlike McDonald's, who, you know, has ch always chinsed out and run only until about, uh, how, how long is it? Oh, 10.30, as it immortalized in the movie Big Daddy. Um, get the little boy a Happy Meal. Will somebody get him a Happy Meal? Anyway, I digress. Uh, 11 a.m. for the Taco Bell breakfast, which has pushed McDonald's to actually consider expanding their breakfast hours and maybe even doing 24-hour breakfast. So we'll see if that happens in our lifetimes. But anyway, 
as expected, very, very good fare here at Taco Bell. Um, the coffee, by the way, fairly standard, no big deal, three quarter thumbs up. Uh, you know, it's it's a buck forty nine. You know, what do you want for dollar forty nine coffee? Uh, it's okay. Uh, so to recap, the burrito. Seven eighths of a thumbs up, real close to perfect. Just needed a little extra punch and it might have put it over the top. Maybe a little bit of uh, special salsa or something like that. And that would have made it damn straight. Um, the waffle taco though, without syrup, three quarter thumbs up. With syrup, full thumbs up. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm in love with Taco Bell breakfast. And this is only part one of the special report. There will be a part two of the special report that will feature the AM Crunch Wrap, maybe the steak breakfast burrito, maybe those Cinnabon things. Who knows? Sky is the limit. Holy crap. Thank you for watching. Join the SAS on Facebook by clicking on the link down below. Follow me on Twitter at Brandon Reich SAS. And in the meantime, in between time, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.